Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Saturday morning, Duger. I see uh, a lot of dabs happening in chat. I was watching you guys alternate the dab and the dance emote. It's actually fantastic. I'm super into it. Um, while we were on pre-show, Philip Cav resubbed for 25 months. Showbank subscribed. Thank you so much. Zer, uh, thank you for the 45 months. Arnar, thank you for gifting a sub to Coop. Literature Geek, thank you so much for subscribing. Jen Page, thank you for the three. Grav X, thank you for subscribing. Dodge This Angie, thank you for gifting a sub to Paper Stained Ink. Armistary, thank you for the 14 months. Outraging Cat, thank you for the nine. Happy Twitch Baby. Tachi Taco, thank you for the three. Bry, uh, Bry the Lion, thank you for the two. Banisteriopsis for the 39. Dodge This Angie, thank you for gifting another sub to Liz Songbird. No Smoking for the four months. Stubborn Turtle for the five. Captain Westing, thank you for the two. Barker, thank you for the 44. G Mads, thank you for subscribing. Glaciana, thank you for the 11. Amica, thank you for the 29 months. Nadriachi, thank you for the 26. Mr. Fribbles, thank you for the 20. And Lolo Tokyo, thank you for the 14. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome. Love this emote. It should be all year round. Yeah, the Halloween emote. It's good. I was like, oh, man. I think we had a Halloween emote last year, right? Got to throw that bad boy back in there. <laughs> so many dabs. <laughs> the dabbing will pierce through the heavens. I'm so happy with this emote. Yeah, we um we added it yesterday, um, but I was in it. I was holding a baby, and there was an explosion behind me, and people were like, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on in this. Like, what is this emote exactly? So we took the baby out, and we took the explosion out, and now it makes a bit more sense. Do we have a Christmas emote? We do. Yeah, it's um, it's a little dude with green hair and a Santa hat. Yeah, let me let me find it actually. Um, where are you? I think it's in here. Yeah, this one. Oh, wow! Happy holidays. How are you? Me. That was the very first holiday one we ever did. Um, this is our Easter one, and people thought this one was, like, super creepy and weird. <laughs> so I didn't put it back up. I like it, though. It's an angry, it's an angry peep bunny. Um, and then... What was the other one? Oh, we had the, we had the wedding one. After I got married. Hi, I just got married. I'm so happy. Me. It's another one that I don't think we'll ever have a reason to be used again, but I love it. It's cute as hell. Yeah, the the like evil Halloween doog is a is a holiday one, so. Can we see the enlarged version of the dab? Oh, sure. Here's dance. This one. Can we get some dude dance in chat, y'all? <laughs> um, and then the dab one. Oh, that's right. I didn't put it in the folder because I'm a trash goblin. There we go. There's the dab. Yow. Dab on him. Dab on him. <laughs> <laughs> they are a good combo, though, right? I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Especially since both of them are like really feisty about it. Like, yeah, fuck off, yeah. <laughs> it's good, it's good shit. Any other emotes that you want to see big versions of? This bitch? Nah. Nah. <laughs> 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 I was saying to Danny, a lot like a lot of you still use uh Duke Trash. Like a lot of you. But um Duke Junk doesn't get used nearly as often. I feel like I rarely see it. Here's the original version of Duke Trash. <laughs> People were like, I can't tell what's going on in it. But I still have it because I think it's funny. <laughs> Mm. 
the original is better. You couldn't see it. It's just when you compact it down, like people just couldn't tell what it was. Eating them Doritos, always. Fuzz Wallace, thank you for the 10 months. Bad teamwork, thank you for the nine. Happy Twitch, baby. Racker is skitty, thank you so much for subscribing. My Conductor, thank you for the one year. Happy anniversary. Stream Gremlin, thank you for the two years. Happy anniversary to you as well. Thank you, thank you, guys. Suter, thank you for the nine months. Happy Twitch, baby. Starlight Ballad, thank you for the 10. Sarah Screenager, thank you for the nine months as well. Happy Twitch, baby, to you. Michael H, thank you for the 46, almost four years, holy shit. Light Bulk, thank you for the 10 months. Rex Morgan for the 27, and Kind of Croft, thank you for the nine months. Happy Twitch baby to you as well. Has a baby eating on her own already? College? She like, if we're feeding her a bottle, she holds the bottle. She's like, fuck off, I got this. And she holds the bottle. Um, And yeah, we started feeding her, basically so like, one of the the most common like first things that you feed a baby is rice cereal and it's basically just like like shaves down rice right and uh you mix it with either formula or breast milk and you heat it up a little bit and you give it to them like li like tiny like literally you're at this point now she eats like maybe a tablespoon worth of it right but um yeah the very first time that we fed her she was like the spoon would come for her and she'd go, ah, like dive at it. I was like, oh shit. We took a video of it. My dad was laughing because it's the exact same thing that I used to do. I guess just like fucking like shark attack <laughs> the spoon and um, don't taste it. It's not nice. I tasted ours just because I was really curious. And yeah, I mean, it just winds up either tasting like formula or breast milk. <laughs> it doesn't taste like anything else. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then, like, the last couple of times I've tried to feed her, she's gotten really angry about it, and I was like, maybe it's because she's too hungry, right? Like, this is a new thing, and she's not, she's not getting, like, the satisfaction immediately, so maybe I need to be feeding her a little bit normally, and then, and then giving her the rice cereal, because it's, like, a whole new process, right? And then doing our normal, like, wind-down bedtime routine. Because um, I'm, I'm only, I'm feeding her, like, a tablespoon of it at night. And that's it at this point right now. But if she gets, like, really upset about it, I'm like, okay, I don't want you to, like, hate this. So we're done, right? But yesterday she ate all of it. But she, like, wouldn't eat it unless she put her hand either on my hand that was holding the spoon or on the handle of the spoon and like brought it to her own mouth. I was like, okay, apparently, apparently I'm not needed. <laughs> You've got this, I guess. Carvin Kingdom, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Determined Mar, thank you for the four months. Soul Edgar, thank you so much for the biddies. Can we see the original dab, the one with the explosion and the baby? It sounds amazing, sure. Jason WF, thank you for the 40 months. And Zoe Nations, thank you so much for the host. Uh, Cookie Monster, thank you for the five months as well. This is the original. <laughs> but when it's when it was really tiny, people were like, I don't I don't know what that is. But that's that's what it was. It's good shit. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, right? People were like, I don't know what what are you holding? Because it was supposed to be like a mom dab, right? Y'all eyes aren't strong enough. It's true. The explosion is really good too. It makes me laugh. Yeah, definitely. So yesterday also, for any of you who weren't here, yesterday um, we tried to play the new Rusty Lake game and um, we played a decent amount of it, but the whole stream I was like every now and then dropping frames. It wasn't great. And then it like ramped to the point where I was dropping like 75% or more of my frame. So I was like, okay, you know what? Just forget it. We're going to shut down the stream. Um, so far, knock on something. So far, uh, have not dropped any frames today. We are at 0% dropped frames. Knock on everything. There's no wood around here. So I got to call on all the fucking ah, wood. 
Hell yeah. Okay, we covered all of the material deities. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to. I want to keep playing it. Have you checked out Cross Code? No. Hundred percent of frames held. God, I love that emote. It's a new Rusty Lake about. Um, so far, we are a detective who I think we've played before, right? I was trying to remember. <coughs> Normally, I wind up like trying to make connections after I'm done with the game, but we're playing a detective who's locked in a room. It's technically a Cube Escape game, not a Rusty Lake game, but they're all the same universe. Um, we're playing a detective who's locked in a room. And it looks like there's two different rooms to play. So we've, we've like gotten pretty far in the first room so far. Um, and that was really odd. And um, <laughs> a doctor detective, just a detective as far as I know. Um, there's a woman that we keep seeing who was murdered um, we keep seeing her like in dreams and when we look through like the lock, we see her on the other side of the door. Um, and just like any of the other games, you know, freaking weird shit is constantly happening. Um, but we have had to gather evidence. We just gathered literally as the stream was dying, we gathered the last piece of evidence. Um, we had to go around the room, like doing different things, gathering evidence, uh, going to, there's like a TV. We had to go to different channels to find messages. Um, I think this is the first one of these games that I've played where they've included like real life stuff. Like all of the videos are real people talking to you. Um, and like there was a picture we had to put together and the picture was like a real, like a picture of real people. Like poking a nipple weird. No. So like... <laughs> I was like, um, I was talking about how, because there's a mirror that you can look in and you can like combine items in the mirror and you can like use items on yourself in the mirror, like as long as you're looking at yourself, right? Um, and I was talking about how, because it's a Rusty Lake game, I don't know what items are going to work on myself, right? Like I could pick up anything and try to use it on myself and it might work because who knows if I'm going to open my mouth up and like a creature is going to crawl out or something. Like you just don't know. <laughs> this has nothing to do with contradiction. It has nothing to do with contradiction. Have I missed a Rusty Lake playthrough? Um, just the beginning. Well, I feel like we're almost halfway through, but I don't know. Yeah, there's a filing cabinet. Cool. There's a filing cabinet in the game, and you have to find, like, specific names in there to solve a puzzle. And somebody, I guess, was looking through and found me in there, and I was like, oh! <gasps> I'm in the filing cabinet. That's so fun. Cause they have, it's kind of like their credits, right? They have like everybody who's worked on the game and all that kind of stuff. So it was cool. I was like, Oh, I'm in there. I guess Jesse's in there too. It's pretty good. How long would you say I have to go before I finish final fantasy 14 and start on heaven's ward? Oh shit. Um, at Titan. You got a ways. Yeah. Overall, people tend to feel like um, the Realm Reborn story up to Heaven's Ward is kind of slow. I like it. But for the most part, people tend to think that it's kind of slow. Um, Storm, All of the stuff in Stormblood is, like, incredible. But that's, like, two expansions away, so... When do you plan to play the rest of uh, Rusty Lake? 
I want to play more of it today because I was robbed yesterday. <laughs> The very end slash transition into Heaven's Word will blow your mind. It's true. The end of Realm Reborn going into Heaven's Word is so good. I agree. I'm all sleepy. I need coffee. I'm also sleepy. But I have coffee. I, I took that dive. Crazy Desu, thank you so much for the seven months. Ravenblade, thank you for the 52. Jesus Christ, y'all. C. Decker, thank you so much for the biddies. Who can? Thank you for the 44. And Licked Lerm, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. I was robbed because I started dropping so many frames that I couldn't continue playing. I was robbed of the rest of my stream. Tell Sam not to jinx your stream. What do you mean? Oh my God. Wait, I don't know that I've ever seen this. Wait, who made this? Trevor, whose art is this? I don't remember this at all. <laughs> who did this? That's going to be me tomorrow. I won't be that blonde yet, but... Fuck, that's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to bleach my hair a bit tomorrow. I told them that I tried to give them as much information as possible. I was like I dyed it. The last time I dyed it was about a year ago. Pretty sure. It was about a year ago. Um I've been platinum before and my hair held up fine, but I'm fine with like going in gradual stages. Like I don't need to be like fucking white blonde tomorrow, you know. Um but I've never, I don't think that I've ever done like a mid-stage blonde before, which sounds weird. Like I've always just gone fucking ham right off the bat. So it would be interesting to do just like a kind of pretty like natural blonde. I've never tried to do that before <laughs> because the blonde has always been a means to an end, right? The, the like white blonde has either been, I want to be platinum or it's been, I want my hair to be fucking like blue, right? And I need it to be white so that it can be true blue. So is it best to go in stages? It is, yeah, because every time, so like every time you bleach your hair, you're like taking a lot out of it. Um, that's why sometimes when people go to bleach their hair, it'll burn, right? Like, like say that I just put a bunch of bleach in all of this, right? the possibility of a bunch of this like burning off if I just leave it in there is high, right? It entirely depends on like the density of your hair, the health of your hair, like what does it have to give, you know? Um, <clears throat> this is also why when you have bleach blonde hair, it sucks up color so easily because it's just like open. There's nothing in there, right? It's just like, give me something, right? And if you put any kind of dye on white hair at all, it's like fucking finally, and it grabs onto it. Um, so yeah, so they always recommend that like, if you're going from a, a darker hair color or if you have like thinner hair, like I do, my hair tends to be pretty like strong, right? But, um, but it is thin. So people always worry when they're going to bleach it, but they always recommend that you go in stages. So like bleach it a bit. Um, do some color correction so that it doesn't just look orange, right? Um, and then come back in like maybe a month or something and let your hair just kind of regenerate, soak up some of your natural oils, like get a bit healthier again so that it's not just straw, so that you're not <laughs> just like putting bleach again on something that's just like, I don't know what you want, <laughs> you know? Burn off, like disappear. Yeah, it literally burns through your hair, so there won't be hair anymore. So if you're doing it properly, typically it'll take like two or three sessions if you're going from like darker hair to like 
white blonde. It'll take a while. My natural hair, like all of this virgin hair that's in here, this will take to bleach extremely well because it's like such an ashy, like brownie blonde anyway. Um, this will go white, like easy, but it's all of this that is gonna need some time, so. I know my hair is super long, it's crazy. I always have it up. So, but what's, hila so what's hilarious is, you know, any of you who put your hair in ponytails, um, you know how like ponytail holders just vanish, they just fucking disappear and you're like, I don't know what happened to that one, but hey, at least I've got another one, right? Um, going from being a person who puts my hair up all the time and loses hair ties all the time to a couple <laughs> that is putting our hair up all the time. Holy shit, where the fuck are they all going? It's literally like, all right, so we've got these four hair ties. They're the only ones I can find in the whole house. We have to be really careful. And by the end of the day, we're like, where the fuck are they? They're all gone. I just, I don't understand, <laughs> right? So um, I've been leaving my hair down a lot because I literally have nothing <laughs> to put in. I was like, honey, are you using a hair tie right now? And he was like, I don't even know where it is, but I might have had it in my hair when I went to bed. So, so I like went during free show, I like went upstairs and like dug through the bed and found a ponytail holder in there. My cats steal hair ties. My cats have never been interested in hair ties. I swear they disappear in my hair. <laughs> I just found a bunch under my bed. <gasps> I should look for that. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny because um, Sam, I don't know if it's just because he's a strong boy, but like a lot of the hair ties that Sam uses get stretched out really fast. Like they'll have no elastic left. And I'm like, what are you doing to these? <laughs> like, I'm so confused. <laughs> That's what the cats want you to believe. Sherlock is still obsessed with binkies. He still tries to take Clark's binkies constantly. And I'm like, stop. <laughs> like I have to like rewash re-sanitize those every time a cat fucking touches it. <laughs> just like, God damn it. He literally picks them up in his mouth like it's a like it's his binky. Kills me. <laughs> like stop. That old cat boy needs a binky. No, because if I give him one, he won't be able to tell like which ones are his and which ones aren't. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Aw, babby girl. Short stack, thank you for the two years. Happy anniversary. Thank you, thank you. Chewy Leet, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the cat gang. Chosen Sin, thank you for the five months. Kerlitha, thank you for the six. And Team Kill Tina, thank you for the six as well. My dog used to do that. So weird. Do your cats play fetch? Sherlock used to play fetch all the time. He's a fat boy now, so he doesn't want to. He'll like run after it. Like I'll throw something and he'll run for it, sniff it, and then just lay down. <laughs> I'm like, you used to bring them back. What happened? <laughs> Might be because his hair is super thick. So he has to wrap it around a lot more than you do to keep it from falling down. But wouldn't, but if your hair is thick, don't you have to like twist it less, right? Like my hair is pretty thin, so I have to twist it like quite a few times. Otherwise, otherwise it won't hold it, right? Like because there isn't that much hair there. So if I only twist it a couple of times, it like falls out. I always assumed that with thicker hair, you would only have to twist it like a couple of times because like there isn't, because your hair is thicker, right? 
His hair is short, though. He'd have to do it tighter so it stays. I guess that's true. But the hair will fight for freedom. <laughs> Fair. You know what? That's true. My hair doesn't fight. It's just like, I'm here now. It's like a warm hug. <laughs> It's heavier. It's always falling down. Thick hair fights the hair tie. If you don't wrap it enough, it undoes itself. Jesus Christ. Thick hair sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> scrunchies are my best friend. They handle the thick hair. I should get Sam some scrunchies. I just need to get new hair ties. I haven't had to buy hair ties in so long. So every time I go to the grocery store, I'm like, hair ties, hair ties, hair ties, hair ties. And then I forget. <laughs> yeah, it is. God, I wish I had it though. I want I want thick hair so bad. But grass is always greener, right? Grass is always greener. The trick with thick hair is to not bother. <laughs> I'm trying to picture Sam using hair ties. Has he worn them on stream? Yeah, he's been putting his hair up pretty much every day for at least the last month, I think. I buzz cut myself so I don't have to care the dream, right? I love playing with my hair in terms of color, but I don't like, I don't, I don't like styling my hair because no matter, and I, I get, I understand that this is like a, well, if you did it more often, you'd get better at it sort of situation. But whenever I try to style my hair a certain way, it doesn't look right. So I don't like to bother really. <laughs> Sam looks real good with that Viking look, right? He's he's nailing it. I like it. Yeah, one day. One day I think I'll shave my head for sure. Oh my god, that pony. Is that Ariola Grady? <laughs> yes, hello, I'm Ariola Grady. I'm here to sing you a song. Uh, Bam. Fine. Honestly, trying to style really thin hair is difficult. Dude, I swear every time, like, like a person who's actually good at styling hair, right? Every time somebody tries to style my hair, I swear to God, because I just sit there and watch them, right? Whenever I've done, like, hosting stuff. Um, I swear they spend most of the time just trying to add volume to my hair. That's all that they do. Get a donut bun? I have one. And you can see, because my hair is thin, you can see the donut through my hair, no matter how I like try to like space it out. It's real dumb. <laughs> I actually really hate it. This is the first time I used one. I was like, oh my God, it makes my hair look, it makes it look like the bun is huge. This is awesome. But literally like, if I make it so that the front is covered with hair, you can see through it in the back and you can see that there's like a shaper back there. <laughs> um, but yeah, like when, when you have thinner hair and you're wanting like one of those like like kind of more feminine, you know, like curly hairstyles, right? They literally just sit there like spray, 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 tease, 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 spray, 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 tease, 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 spray, 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 tease, 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 put it to the side, take a little bit more hair, spray, 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 tease, 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 spray, 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 tease, 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 spray, spray, tease, 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 put it to the side, spray, 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 and in like small sections, right? Because they're trying to make it so that one, like, like this much hair, right? This much hair needs to have like girth <laughs> and it just fucking doesn't it's like see-through right so they're just like bam 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 okay i think that's good next section bam 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 and it takes forever it looks amazing when they're done but like 
I've tried to do it to myself and I'm just like, this is a nightmare. Like, this is so difficult. <laughs> Manu P, thank you so much for the biddies. Truder 2K, thank you so much for the 14 months. JB Cal, thank you for the 32. Manu P, thank you so much for more biddies. All my family is bald. I enjoy the hair while I have it. <laughs> Baker Base, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. VTMC, thank you for the 19 months. Granny Sith, thank you for the nine. Happy Twitch, baby. Aiden Serenity, thank you for gifting a sub to Slim Shazbot. Welcome. And Narum Lena, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang as well. Excuse me. There's one single chunk of my hair that gets curly and the rest is straight. How odd. What are your thoughts on the Avatar The Last Ender Airbender live action series? I'm trying not to get my hopes up. Because, like, the last attempt at this was so bad. I, I guess I'm of the, I'm of the opinion that Avatar The Last Airbender was so fucking good, right? Like, the cartoon was incredible. It was so well done. It had so much thought and love put into it, and I don't see why we need to redo it in any capacity. Like, I just I don't understand. Um, if they're going to use that opportunity to cast properly and and have some eyeballs on some, like, really amazing Asian actors and stuff, it could be awesome. But if they're not, even in that situation, if they don't stay true to the subject, like the original material, it's still going to be garbage, right? So I'm just like, the original thing was so good. Why do we need to like do this again, right? It's not, it's not like we're attempting to make it live action for the first time, like this is the second attempt at it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. I hope it's great. I never want, whenever I hear stuff like this, I never think to myself, I hope that fails. I don't hope that it fails. I hope it's great. I hope that they really nail it and, um, and you know, are reverent toward it. But we'll see. <laughs> The cartoon is fantastic. For any of you who haven't ever watched it before, it's so good. Really like, the beginning is a little slow, but all of it is, is honestly good, so. I'm talking about Avatar The Last Airbender because somebody was asking how I feel about them doing a live action version. But we'll see. I'm going to try to get my mom to watch it. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Anyone watch the new Fully Cooly? Was that any good? Um, Danny is in chat right now. Danny went on a big rant to me about how bad it was. So <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I've trusted him and assumed that it's really bad <laughs> gotta be real <laughs> mom and i would watch avatar when it was first airing when i was seven it's a good show for everyone in the house yeah, if you have like if you have a house of people who aren't the it's a cartoon so it's garbage sort of people <laughs> then you're good. <clears throat> Is your stomach still big? It's still got some it's still got some action. Yeah. I still haven't been like focusing on it too much to be honest. It's not my priority to get rid of my belly, but it, I've still got a little bit going on. 
I lost a lot of it just kind of naturally, so. Do you miss going to the office? I miss seeing everybody. Um, I'm enjoying working at home, and when I think about, like, what it would take for me to work at the office again, I get a little stressed out just because, like, we don't, it's not like we have a consistent babysitter for her or anything like that, so... Um, trying to figure out how I could manage to work in the office again is, like, not really something that I want to think about currently, to be honest. But, but I do miss everybody. I like seeing everybody every day. Is it fat or is it other stuff? I mean, I think at this point it's just fat, yeah. Ugh. I'm pretty sure. I still wear, like, my my pregnancy jeans because they're the most comfortable. I can fit into my other jeans now, um, but they're still, like, a little tight. But, yeah, I've just got, like, just a little, little action. A little action going on. <laughs> but it's not much. It's the sort of thing where if I really wanted to, if I, like, started eating better and stuff, it would probably make a big difference. I just haven't really... So squish. Mm. <laughs> Why switch when the prego jeans are comfy, right? The only problem is that the the like pregnancy elastic part of it um, doesn't fit me very well because my belly isn't that big anymore, right? So I put these on and it's like, ah, yes, they're not too tight, but they're also like a little big. <laughs> Have any stretch marks appeared? I have seen some. I have seen some. I'm actually really excited. I didn't notice them until last night when I got bit to shit by a mosquito in my house. Fuck those mosquitoes. Anyways, I got like five bites on my back last night while I was just sitting here for like half an hour and I got really angry about it and ran upstairs with the baby. I was like, we're fucking sequestering ourselves in the bedroom because I don't know where this shit is coming from. Um, but... Yeah, there was a bite on my lower back, and I was looking back there, and I was like, oh, I have some stretch marks. It's exciting. <laughs> my friend is a fitness nut. She didn't even start to work on her body for, like, six months after her baby, but she had her six-pack back in three months. Fuck. Going ham, man. Yeah, she's almost five months old. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, I finally earned my tiger stripes. They wouldn't show up at first, but they're finally here. Manopee, thank you so much for more biddies. Jally, thank you for the two months. Claire, thank you for the biddies. Stovamore, thank you for the nine months. Happy Twitch, baby. And Arnar, thank you for gifting a sub to Gyardims. Welcome to the cat gang. Mm-hmm. Some people were like, oh, if you actually are like having a problem with mosquitoes, you should get some citronella plants and just put them around the house. And I was like, I've always, my parents have always had like citronella candles. But I've never thought about having the actual plant. Like, I know, isn't that nuts? Almost five months. That's crazy. She's fitting into six month onesies. It's like, what happened? You were underweight. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> You're so weird. Everyone else I know is like, no stretch marks. You're like, yo, stretch marks. I like them. I don't know. I, I try to I try to talk pretty openly about how much I love signs of age because I think a lot of people talk about how scared they are of them, but I love them. So I feel like it's okay to talk about it fairly often because you don't hear as many people being like, stretch marks are pretty dope, right? Like gray hair is rad as hell. I love laugh lines, right? Like I, I think... 
if I need to, if I need to be the the one person who's gonna be like that shit's awesome, <laughs> then I will be. I will be. <laughs> That's fine with me. Oh, yes, Sumi Panda, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new member of the Cat Gang. Mr. Bitterness, thank you for the 21 months. Drezak, thank you for the two years. Happy anniversary. And Tom Zoris, thank you for the two months as well. Laugh lines are like these. When, as you get older and those lines like, like wrinkles around your eyes. My mom and sister point out every single white hair they see on my head. It's hilarious. I've learned that I shouldn't do that to people. <laughs> because I, like, I love it. But I've realized other people don't love it as much. Like, they don't like it being pointed out, <laughs> right? So um, I don't do it anymore. But there have been a couple of times where I've been like, oh, so pretty. And, like, pointed out gray hair. And people have been like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. Sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> My sister is like that. She loves her scars and stretch marks. They're her achievements. They show what she's overcome. Yeah, right? Like, I have, I have these stretch marks because I had a baby. Like, that's awesome, right? She's like an incredible aspect of my life. I'm okay with there being evidence on my body that I had a baby, you know? I'm okay with getting gray hair. It shows that I've been around for a while. Like, that's cool. Yeah, my mom, my mom doesn't have that many grays coming in. My dad's hair has just kind of slowly gone from like blonde to like gray, white. It's just kind of like just slowly changing in color overall, which is interesting. My aunt has been bleaching. This is so funny to me, I think actually. My aunt has been like platinum blonde for like 30, 40 years, something, right? And, um, Jody, my hair mom back in my hometown, she does she does my aunt's hair as well. And I guess one day was like, can I tell you something? <laughs> my aunt was like, what? And she was like, we're like, we're basically making your hair the color that it already is. <laughs> like, there's some hairs in here that are not white, but for the most part, your hair is just coming in white. Like, there's no reason for us to do this anymore unless you really care about, like, those few hairs that are still kind of dark. And she was like, really? <laughs> but her hair is super cool because like, um, from like here down is silver gray, like really pretty silver gray from here down. And then from here up is white, like snow white. It's nuts. She's like, I don't know. It happened to my grandma, too. That's how her hair was. I don't know why it is. Like, I don't really like it. And I was like, what? It looks fucking awesome. <laughs> Everybody in the house was like, your hair looks rad as hell. Like, don't worry about it. And she was like, oh, OK, cool. <laughs> How's the lifting? I haven't been exercising, lifting, eating right. <laughs> I haven't been doing any of that at all. I mean, I don't I don't eat really bad just in general, but like I haven't been purposefully eating better, you know? Um, I go on the walk. I go on like a mile walk with the baby almost every day. And that's the exercise that I get right now, which is better than nothing, but That's true. I do lift the baby. I swear to God, I don't, I don't like, she's heavy. <laughs> she's 
She is. Like, when I pick up Sherlock now, he feels like a feather. <laughs> He's a big cat. They only get heavier. I know, man. I picked up um, uh, Kaylee, happily Aaron's daughter. I picked up Kaylee when they were visiting, and I was like, you're a big girl. <laughs> but she's not, right? She's actually really, really tiny for her age. But I was still just like, my kid's going to be this big one day. <laughs> it's crazy. Scubnar, thank you for the 35 months. And Smiley, thank you for the six. Sherlock's such a big boy. I know. Every time somebody comes to stay with us, they're like, I didn't believe you when you said that your cats eat the same amount of food, but they really do eat the same amount of food. I'm like, I know. Like, he's, like, they, Watson and Sherlock eat identical portions. Sherlock's just a chunk. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, she's she can hold up her head and her her chest really well and has been for a while, so I've like side hold her a lot so that I can do things with this hand. Storing it for winter. We don't really have winter here though. He's secretly hunting at night. I don't know how he's getting out if he is. <laughs> yeah, Kay's I I feel like pretty much every Bombay that I see is big like he is. I think that they just naturally hold fat. <laughs> he doesn't know when the winter will come. He's getting ready. <laughs> He's been ready for years for the big winter. Hal Steve, thank you for the five months. And Jaguar Knack, thank you so much for the nine. Happy Twitch, baby, to you. Moo is more lean and muscular. Fred is a big squishy boy. And their brother's born on the same day. Aw. Moo is such a good name for a cat. My Bombay was super chunky, too. He looks so much like Sherlock is uncanny. Yeah, Orf, um, Ross and Holly's cat. Uh, Orf, every time I see him, I'm like, you look so much like Sherlock, it's crazy. Orf is a little smaller, though, which was always hilarious, because every time I see Orf, they're like, oh, look at this fat monster, right? And I'm like, it's smaller than mine. <laughs> Has learned, Clark learned to grab at things yet. Yeah, she's grabbing everything now, which is really, really fun. So now what I love to do is I pick her up in the morning and I go, can you hold this? And she'll go, and I'll go, great, can you hold this? And the other hand will go. <laughs> and then I'll walk and she's like holding these things like. <laughs> That's true, Orf stayed with Ross, yeah. Holly keeps saying Ross is going to make that cat fatter. I mean, probably. The picture, oh my God, the picture of him just like dumping cat treats on his bowl. I was like, oh no, Orf. <laughs> my Bombay kitten is watching you right now. Hello, baby. <laughs> Have you tried getting her to hold a third thing? No, that would not happen. Because, like, I'm trying to find something to give an example. Like, she can't, individual fingers can't do things. So, it's like, I'm trying to think of, sure, this. What does this go to? Who knows? If I were to, like, hold this out to her, it would be, like, it would potentially be, like, this or, like, this right like she doesn't know whatever like touches it she's like fucking i got it right and then she just the rest curl in um so there's no there's no like specificity to her 
finger movements yet. It's just if I hit a thing and I curl in, I can hold it. Even if, like, to us, we're like, oof, that's going to fall, right? Or, oh, not really holding that right. It's for the purposes of her improving. If she holds it, it's right. You know, if she can keep it in her hand, then it's correct. <laughs> do you think Clark would recognize you on stream like Sam could play you on a TV and she would be like mom I think so she when she sees me in a mirror she like kicks her legs and stuff like she can tell that's me you know I think that if she saw me yeah for sure if she saw like a picture of me or if she saw me on a TV she would know It's amazing the stuff you learn to do with your hands and you forget all of the training. I can't remember when I learned to snap my fingers. I couldn't snap my fingers until I was pretty old. I remember like trying to snap my fingers and it succeeding for the first time ever and how excited I was. And I literally ran outside and I was like, daddy, I can snap. And he was like, all right, hit me with it. And then I fucked it up and couldn't snap again. <laughs> I can't snap very well with this hand. This one I can, but it took a lot of practice. I can't do it this one very well. But it's it's like I can tell that I I can tell that I'm doing it differently. I can tell that I'm not doing the same thing with this hand that I am with this hand, but I don't know in the moment how to be any different, you know? Yeah, it's weird. Am I left-handed? No. Right-handed. This is my right hand. Can't fucking... I can do this and, like, pretend. <laughs> but this is the only one that I can, like, actually snap with well. Um, Wizard Styles, thank you for the 17 months. Marsters, thank you for the 27. Hermes, thank you for the 25. Croatian, thank you for the 5. Feels like I've been gone for a month. So busy at work. I'm glad my sub months didn't drop. Baby Star Killers. Five months already. Aw. Um, Nag Nag, thank you so much for the gift bomb. To Dragosk, Sinji, Darius Has Dogs, Yell Yak, and Toadmobile. All of you, welcome to the Cat King. Be sure to thank Nag Nag for those gifted subs. And as a reminder, uh, we're still in September. Sub September. So um, if you have a gifted sub currently, like right now, you can re-up it for another month for only a dollar. Um, you just have to make sure that it's at a tier one sub and it'll, it'll have you change it to a recurring sub. So if you wanna do that, that would be amazing. Um, and if you only want it to be for a month, um, it's really easy to cancel it after the one month has happened, so. If you're like, I can't, I can afford the, the $1 thing, but I can't afford for this to be a monthly thing. It actually is really easy to cancel it, so. I remember when I first found out that the sound doesn't come from the fingers, but from the middle finger hitting the palm, right? Yeah, and you're like, what the fuck, it's this. <laughs> yeah, I remember that as well. Uh, Reshki, thank you for the 13 months. Sonic Advance, thank you for the two years. Happy anniversary. Goblin Chew, thank you for the 16. And Aiden Serenity, thank you for gifting a sub to Uber Squash. Welcome to the cat gang. Oh no, a bunch of you didn't know that. Yeah, because like, think of it this way. Like, I can start a snap from this position, right? Like, these fingers aren't doing it. It's bam. It's that part that's making the snap noise. Right? <clears throat> the new emotes look good. I hope to sub again soon. Thank you, thank you. Take your time. It's all good. I hadn't seen this yet. The dab? I know, it's real good. <laughs> How did Thanos snap if he was wearing a gauntlet? Don't worry about it. 
Willard Mittens, thank you for the two years. Happy anniversary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You just taught me how to snap and I'm 23. <laughs> Do you like fighting games? If so, Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? Mortal Kombat, always. I played a ton of Mortal Kombat with my brother growing up. I did not play Street Fighter, really, unless I was with my nephew. My nephew and I played Street Fighter and Tekken a lot, um, but my brother and I pretty much only played Mortal Kombat. So I got way more Mortal Kombat in my like formative years than any other fighting game. Arnar, thank you for gifting a sub to Suki. Welcome to the cat gang. You don't have to wait after all. You can use the emotes now. <coughs> Who are your Mortal Kombat mains? Oh, gosh. Um, Sonya, I used a lot because I really loved the, the throw where she, like, does a handstand and grabs you by the neck and throws you. And then, um, fuck, what's her name? Who's who's the fucking floaty bitch who grabs you with her hair and tosses you? This is in the older Mortal Kombat games, but still, I'm trying to remember her name. I used Raiden a lot. I used Sonya a lot. And then that bitch, Sindel, used her a lot because I thought that her throw was great. I loved, I loved their throws. Like, anybody who had a good throw, I was like, I'm in. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> oh this community is one of the nicest nicest and sweetest on the internet i'm so happy to be part of it thank you figgity jones that's very sweet oh there's a chunk hi buddy we were talking about you just a minute ago <laughs> hey bud how's it going oh you jumping Oh, Lord, he are coming. There he is, big boy. Big boy. Hi. Hey. There we go. How you doing? You fine? Hold on, you've got... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the Shang Tsung of Twitch. Now I have two dab emotes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Squish that cat. I'm working on it. Squish, 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 squish. Oh, big boy. Quiz boy. Oh, Billy quiz boy. Hey, bud. Mwah. Cutie pie. I saw an interview with the vampire for the first time in years. My God, it's a snore fest at first, but I get got hooked the longer I watched it. Lestat is the best fangy boy. Dude, I'll never forget. My brother showed me that movie the first time. And I was like, oh my God. Because I was in like middle school, I think. And I was like, this movie is fucking incredible, right? Read all of the interview with the vampire books. Um, well, all of the like Anne Rice vampire books. They're, they're so, like, the most fucking dramatic vampire novels that exist. <laughs> like, every character is, like, contemplating their entire existence constantly. Like, you don't get to see the moments when they're just like, I could really go for an ice cream. Too bad I can't have one because I'm a fucking vampire, right? Like, like you don't you don't get those moments. It's just I went to the movies and I saw the sun for the first time through film and I wept. Right? It's just it's so dramatic. <laughs> Louis was so depressed all the time, right? Like. All of the novels in which Lestat is like, I wonder what Louis's doing. Where's Louis at? I miss Louis. Louis was like my bae. And then he goes to find Louis, and Louis's just like still depressed by himself. <laughs> just like <laughs> wants nothing to do with Lestat. I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> so 
much on ennui. Anne Rice is terrible with fan stuff. She is, yeah. Um, she like came after a bunch of fanfic writers with legal action. Got really pissed anytime somebody was like, "So, are these vampires like boning or what? Like, are they are they in love?" And she's like, "They are partners. They are undead partners and companions." <laughs> we were like, "All right, that's that's fine." <laughs> Anne Rice is the Nintendo of vampires. <laughs> That's such a good phrase. She she even literally like made it so that vampires can't have sex. It's like a it's like a huge plot point. Like they have sex by biting each other, basically. <laughs> They're like, no, the most intimate thing you can possibly do is just gnaw on each other for hours. <laughs> you can't do anything else. Everything's fucking like shut for business down there. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, okay. It's fine. Like, sure. It's just very dramatic books, that's all. Real Sano, thank you for the 27 months. Blade Master, thank you so much for subscribing. Sickler, thank you so much for subscribing as well. Both of you, welcome to the Cat Gang. And Nord Wing, thank you so much for the host. And Nin in the Shadows, thank you for the host as well. Yeah, there's no blood flow, so they can't. Like, there's nothing going on. It makes sense. It's just mentioned often. <laughs> could be magical flow <laughs> what are we talking about nothing you know what we're not talking about anything i'm gonna take a break and go pee and when we come back we're gonna reclaim the rusty lake that was robbed from us yesterday and we're gonna play more of that um so i will see you in just a minute if you need to pee or grab a drink or anything you have time go do that and when we come back we'll play a game okay sick hell yeah such a good song. <laughs> so he's just going to be stuck in my head. It's good, right? Like, if you're going to have a song stuck in your head, it might as well be that. Um, really quick before we pop up in the game, Snufty the Bitloa, thank you so much for the one year. Happy anniversary. It's been a year already. Time is sure a false thing. <laughs> Animus Color, thank you so much for subscribing. Avi, thank you for the huge gift bomb to Still59 Gabon. Uh, the Astonet. Ginger Ryanook, what would Scooby do? Um, Mira, uh, wait, what? Excuse me, Stealth Frenzy, KS Shala, and Java Corona. All of you, welcome to the Cat Gang. Be sure to thank Avi Ten in chat for your gifted subs. Thank you very much. Okali, thank you for the 11 months. Torgrick for the 23, almost two years. Jurassic John and Esports Casual and Falcon. All of you, welcome to the Cat Gang. Thank you so much for subscribing and becoming new members. And Drezair, thank you so much for the four years. Happy anniversary. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shocker, thank you for the two months as well. And Cone, thank you for subscribing. Oh my goodness, guys. Thank you. It's very sweet of y'all. Okay, so hop back into chapter one. Ow, fuck, no, I scratched it. Ah, I've been trying to keep myself from scratching it. Shit! <laughs> what bites? There are no bites on my back. No bites, no bites, no bites, no bites. I found your daughter. I have to send you a video. May I send you the link? What do you mean you found my daughter? I don't know what that means, but I'm, it's, <laughs> it creeps me out a little bit. <laughs> Just that phrase, I found your daughter. Um, and the mosquitoes loose in LA. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have mosquitoes for like 
the first time this year. They're called like ankle biters, but they're just like, they're these big motherfuckers. Gross. Mara, thank you for the 22 months. And Jay Barry, thank you for the 10. Little girl's first flirtation fail. It's epic. Oh, okay. I think I see what you mean. <laughs> I'm assuming... I'm assuming that you mean that the little girl in the video reminded you of me. <laughs> okay, so... Um, this is where we're at. Um, we've done a lot in this room already. It would be it would be really hard for me to describe everything. But um, this is us. And we still haven't done anything with the bird. But the last thing that we did was we found the final piece of evidence that we needed. So her body, the newspaper article about it, evidence of her prescription... Um, a contest thing, and then we just found this dress, or this piece of a dress. Um, so, I was trying to figure out if it's supposed to be in, like, A, B, C, D order, but there's also this in the center. So if it's 3, 2, 5, 1, 4, or, um... Where would I put, oh, maybe here. Oh, 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 oh. I think maybe I get it. Are there only five? There are. Okay, so evidence A. Okay, I see, I see, I see. So A3. I'm just going to take a picture. Okay, I'll just keep this picture up. Okay, so. The first piece of evidence is three, and that was the circle with the dot in the center, right? That. Um, B is two. Okay. C is five, D is one, five, one. The right thing is already in five. Oh, wait, no. No, so this should be that, and this should be that. There we go. Oh, new cassette! Harvey's song. Okay. So we've got a cassette player here. Do I drink it? I think I've used... No, I haven't gotten into here. I'm trying to remember what told us. It just said don't drink the blue, right? So maybe I'm supposed to drink it.
or not. Maybe I was not supposed to drink that. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Oh, it's not the key to that. Is it the key to the door? But what about the key to, to this? Did I miss something? One will find death, the other enlightenment. The eyes. Chosen one, this is all from the last game. The Hungry Ghost. Past, the present, and the future. I think there's another code we can put in here to maybe get that key. Take that. Oh, yeah, good call. I did not change what we're doing. You are right. Oh, Cube Escape. Right. Cube Escape Paradox. There we go. Maybe... Maybe there's something in here still. What does that mean? Okay, hold on. Thank you. 
Just taking a picture of anything with a weird symbol at the bottom. started in the K's, right? So I'll have to do the earlier ones too. Hmm. Since they're in the filing cabinet, maybe it's just um, alphabetical order. Aw, it's Ken. Look at that boy. And Jessup! Duh. And me! We found me with my cock mug. And Dio! What the fuck? This has been way more than five, though, is the only problem. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Well, I guess um, we'll try it. Fuck it, right? What do we got to lose? So, if it is alphabetical, the first one's that, the second one is that, third one is that, yeah, there's way too many. Hers doesn't exist. What does that mean then? Mm -mm. There's too many. So it's still one, two, three, four left. But where else are these used? Not really anywhere. They were all used for that puzzle. What's in here? Oh, just stuff, right? So this one, Christine Liu, has that symbol, which I don't think exists anywhere. It's not a symbol you can use in this puzzle. 
And then... Riku... has this. The only place that we've seen like three boxes in a row is here, I'm pretty sure. Not backseating can be hard. I know. I know, guys. So maybe, I don't know, maybe this is a thing? No. I want this wallpaper in my house. Can't unsee the eyes now? What eyes? doubt I'm even clever enough to backseat this game even if I wanted to. No worries from me. <laughs> Not the blue vial, right? This is the phone. Hi, DJ Lobster. How are you? Yes, this is a Cube Escape game, which is in the Rusty Lake universe. I'm not sure how they determine which ones get the Rusty Lake title and which ones get the Cube Escape title. So they're all the same world. Hold on. I think the Cube Escape games have more of a box room format. Oh, that would make sense. That would make sense. You're in a cube, so to speak. <laughs> okay, so if it's... I mean, we've pretty much established that it's not, but if it's alphabetical, it's swirl, square, Triangle. This is a symbol that I'm still trying to figure out. Square. There's the three boxes thing. Hmm. 
Okay, so total in the filing cabinet, there's two symbols that I'm confused about. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these symbols in there. Um, well, they correspond to numbers, so I guess let's look at the numbers on their pictures too. I might be overthinking this, but. Yeah, I use notes on my phone a lot, unless I... this this letter symbol I haven't used that once wait that was in there though wasn't it somebody had that didn't they you're crazy Because if it's 10 symbols total, maybe I just need to do the first five and the next five in order. country. I don't know if that matters. No, some of them just don't have info.
but I think I'm wrong. Okay, never mind. But we did find another symbol that we didn't have before. I don't want to go out this door if it means I'm not going to be able to come back in here. Okay, so there are 10 symbols then. Where does that go? So, just for shits and giggles. First is a swirl. Second is square. Triangle. And then T, T, S, S, oh, nope. That is 10 symbols though. Cut my dang old hair. It won't be the globe because it doesn't show countries. I assume it's not something fucky like you have to put them like re put them in order by first name. That would be crazy. But possible. There are two marks, so that's not it. Is 
It seems like a red herring. But this door is locked. And there's one more thing here that probably has the key to that. Um, okay. I'm gonna open it up to chat. What do you guys think I should try? Any ideas? Two boxes have those symbols in them matching the book. Maybe the symbols from the cards are split to female and male? No. It doesn't list, like, if they're female or male on them. Um, and the marks are totally different on all of them. It has to do something with the movie? Oh, what? It's only 57 seconds long, really? Oh, wait. Wait, no, 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 hold on. Wait! Okay, hold on. of relaxation, a place to empty the mind, reflect in the past and the future. Do be warned, detective, some men find this place hard to leave. September yeah it's September when I click oh watch the film oh Jesus Christ oh, son of a bitch okay hold on god damn it <laughs> where is your fucking film at we're gonna have to watch this Misty Lake film Too loud. What? Why won't it show it now? How long is this movie? 20 minutes long? But like, I want to watch it though. <laughs> How do we feel? Are we doing it? Are we going to commit to watching this? <laughs> All right. Fuck it. Um, for some reason, it won't grab this. Okay. It might work now. There we go. Guess we're fucking watching this. Oh, 
Ah, we have that... <laughs> Sorry. We have that head injury currently in the game. Vandermeer, I do hope you're enjoying your stay. Who is this? Where am I? A place of relaxation. A place to empty the mind, reflect in the past and the future. What? Do be warned, detective. Some men find this place hard to leave and she is waiting <laughs> Got to get out of here. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I agree. All right, let's put on our detective brains, sir. We got this. Right. right. Dab on the haters. I wonder if they made this and then made the game so that in the game they could design it so everything looked identical. find a fish, did we?
buddy. <gasps> Why? Let him experience the world. Those aren't in ours. Wait, 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 but those are years. Hold on. Oh my God. Wait, go back. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Holy shit. Wait, wait. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Okay. So let's see if... Fuck! Where's the pen? There it is. <laughs> okay. 1904. Fuck, but what's the... Shit. Let's see if somebody is 1904. Shit, no one is. A1926. Fuck, we might have to go back through. Welcome, you fine cast. So fucking excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's us. That's all you want to see? You don't think it's weird? He's got a picture of you and that girl in here? Where the hungry man at? Yeah. We're the hungry man. <laughs> Why is it acting like we heard a bomb? Did we hear a bomb? Why do we get so close to things? We're just asking to be spooked. Are we gonna see ourselves like we do in the game? Oh shit, we see game us. <laughs> it's the opposite. It's like, what the fuck? to make sure that it's the same pattern it was before because if it's not that might be another thing
Last time it was bird. No, it's different. Maybe that's a channel to tune to. Is she behind the thing or not? Oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm legit spooked. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Those symbols were like past, present, future in the book, right? So we only saw the red vial, but there were three. Don't drink the blue, so he must have drank the green. Or not. Oh, he sees us on the TV drinking the green. And now he's going to barf up a key. <coughs> Why would you drink it? He wants to get out, guys. <coughs> Time to yak. Yak, 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 yak. It's so dry. The driest key in the world. Where to spit? I hate it when I cough up keys. Is his outside gonna be like our outside? Oh fuck, it is. It's in the middle of goddamn nowhere. Wait, do I wanna know what happens when you walk out here yet? Are we spoiling ourselves? Oh shit. Wait, I don't want to watch the rest of this yet. <laughs> Wait, I don't want this. 
Go back to the game. No! Fucking stop! <laughs> okay. Let's go to channel 749. Okay. Stag. It's S. Um, and what was everybody else? Was it this slide that told us? I think it was. And then pull this down. Okay, so she... Oh, but it changed the girl. Well, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Um, okay, so it was Z, T. She had a swirl above her in the video, so it might have changed to this. And then SS? No. Fuck. But then what is the man? Maybe the man is different now? So in the video, it was us, the man, the, the bird, the girl with a swirly above her, the stag with the number 749, and we turned 749 on, and it had the S symbol, and then the hungry man is still the S symbol as well, but it's not working. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's chase another lead, shall we? Let's see. Nineteen oh four. Anybody? Nineteen oh four.
1906. It's 1904, 1926, 1870, what looks like 1959 and 1935. If I can come back and do this, if I wanted to just like move on with the normal game, but I figured if there's nobody in here that's 1904, then I can abandon this. That's us. Yeah, but 1904 isn't in there, so it's it's not how I was thinking, unfortunately. Man, really? But we... the S. Mm. Any ideas? On what I'm missing here. Specifically with this animal puzzle. I feel like I'm I'm further along on that one. It was in the movie credits. What? But then I'm going to spoil myself. There are five different puzzles in the movie. Okay. Then instead, tell me this. Can I come back and do these puzzles after I've moved on in the game? Can I come back to this room? There are five things circled in the projector thing. Yeah, I know. I just need to know that I could come back. I beat this without the movie. I'm trying to do extra stuff. You can restart. You can't return after you've gone out the door unless you want to redo it. You can just replay chapter one.
but I don't want to watch the rest of the movie because it's going to show me shit that I haven't seen yet in the game. So it's like I literally can't or rather, I don't want to watch the rest of the movie until I've finished this, but once I walk out that door, the doorknob's going to disappear, right? Just skip to the credits. No, because people are telling me that there are a bunch of different puzzles in the movie. Skip to the credits, skip to the credits. I don't want to. I'll just redo it. It's fine. I'll just leave. What was that? Okay, no more backseating, guys. We're not doing those extra puzzles anymore. I'll do them some other time. Hey, buddy. Oh, wait. Hi, what's going on with you? Seems like a premium spot for somebody to pop out, right? Okay, <gasps> buddy. Did you make the right choice? I don't know, did I? What are these X's? Right, down, right, right, down, down, left. Right, down, right, right, down, down, left. Left, up, right, right, down. Or right, 
up. Right. Right. Down right, right, right. It's picking up pace. Oh no, aw oh, man. What happened to you while I was gone? Jesus Christ. Have me go here. Oh, uh, nothing. Okay. Oh. some pop tarts do you like pop tarts sure i'll have a pop tart you want ketchup yes please okay that's kind of what i figured oh thank you oh such fast service the fuck? Is it going to be the same room but with different shit in it? I feel different. Fuck off. Really? Wait, by chapter two? What? Come on. You bitch. Chapter two is DLC? Come on. God damn it. It's 
only two bucks. Fine. Fine. I think the base game was free. So I'm not going to complain. They're great games. I'm not going to complain. Free movie. I think the first chapter was free. Three bucks is a pretty good, pretty, pretty good steal. I think I have to close the game, though. In order to let it, like, add in. Yeah. Okay. New room. Unless you guys want to finish the movie. And then do the next room. <laughs> okay, everybody really wants to watch the movie? Okay. Let's do it. Let's finish it. Ah, uh, the bird bee. <laughs> Finally, we meet, <laughs> Detective. Who are you? the right choice I did did you really I got out you can't escape the boundaries of your mind or the consequences of your actions and neither can she hey Please see the hotel in the distance. That would be just the mwah. Mmm! There it is! Oh no. Oh, girl, run! The man, the hungry man gonna kill ya! No! Poor dude's gonna be like, I finally got out. <laughs> and then he's gonna pick up this cube of his brain. And suddenly be in another room. <laughs> be like, fuck me. <laughs> Mm, mm. 
credits. Putting puzzles in your credits is a really good way to make people read them. <laughs> I'm not going to play chapter one again on stream, no. That seems like a misuse of time. <laughs> that seems like a misuse of time. So let's hop into chapter two. It's a s'mores flavored pop tart. Weird. <laughs> Nancy bought it. She was like, oh my God. They make s'mores pop tarts. Amazing. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a hand. I don't like that. Ah, the fish. Great. Can I rip this off? It happens in the other Rusty Lake games, okay? I'm not just a monster. Oops, wait. Hmm. probably going to wind up in there at some point. Hmm. 
nose in the square. We go. Okay. It's a me. I'm stuck here again. Not the red vial. <laughs> okay. There we go. Looks like two more pieces.
You don't want a cigar? Okay. I don't want a cigar either. I'm over it. I'm over this shit. Mm. I haven't been reading these. I'm so sorry. Um, Edwin, thank you so much for subscribing. Nin in the Shadows, thank you so much for the biddies. Um, Il Hazel, thank you so much for the biddies as well. Uh, Kai Sunil, thank you for the 43 months. Backseat Boy, thank you so much for subscribing. Arnar, thank you for gifting a sub to Maximilian. Welcome to the Cat Gang. Sarah Kitten, thank you for the two years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Mythos Lorik, thank you for the biddies. Alloy Gaiman, thank you so much for subscribing. Zabarik, thank you for the 21 months. Loper Panda, thank you so much for the two years as well. Appreciate it. Beard Lord, thank you for the 14 months. Skepfish, thank you for the 27. Stompa, thank you so much for subscribing. Wigan, thank you for the 27. Aberuni, thank you for the 20. Cinnamon Sweary, thank you for the two months. J Money, thank you for the two months. K Samurai for the 13. Space Butter for the 37. Hodgewall, thank you for the 10. Peach Macaroon, thank you so much for the biddies. Fatal the Baptist, thank you for the 23 months. Saint Butt, thank you for the nine. Happy Twitch, baby. Weird Uncle J, thank you so much for the biddies. Acetylene, thank you so much for the 26. Um, Yggdra, thank you for the 16. Arganator, thank you for the 31. And Zingatorix, thank you for the 52. Gosh darn. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um... Oh, good. It's a bunny boy this time. Okay, I think this is a thing I need to figure out. understand this part at all. This is weird, right? I can't do anything with it, though. So I assume I need, like, a new battery for it.
Why does it even bother letting me look at those? If only one of them is ever important. I think this has to be, I have to be able to solve this. Oh. Wait, what? Oh my god. So I was assuming that like these correspond to which ones of these are blocked off or lit up, right? And depending on what, on how they're rotated, like they're overlapping or not overlapping. But that's confusing the shit out of me. This is, I can solve this, right? Yes, okay. The fuck is wrong with me? But I can turn it off? feel so bad right now you're overthinking it what i'm overthinking it Now it's all red. 
Am I, like... What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> have a fart emoji and Dodger barely farts anymore. Um, I fart a lot, guys. <laughs> I feel like some of you have rewritten history <laughs> to believe that I was audibly farting constantly during my streams. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, is it, is it, giving me like a command, right? It is. It is giving me a command. Sometimes when you say it out loud, <laughs> you're just suddenly like, oh. 945 for Rusty Lake TV. Go deeper into your mind. Look at the painting and burn your soul. With the cigar. Burn your soul. Ah, uh, my soul is evil. Should have known. psychological record of me? Oh, no. Oh, interesting. Okay. Personality text, anxiety, alcohol abuse, claustrophobia, depression. Newspaper article, patient suffers from youth trauma, substantial fears, anxieties, and a sense of loss. It's inside of reality and recent murder case, which triggered several unprocessed memories. Well, we've, we've established that, like, I'm part of that family right from the from the last game right this is gonna be a fucking water puzzle i feel it Oh, they can only go on ones that are bigger than them, I guess? Is that not it? 
and then uh, stab a knife through him. Okay, guess not. Maybe I need to uncover this book. Oh, I have to move this book over there. I see. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Empty your mind, great. Use the knife on my head, I guess. Reflect on the present, the past, and the future. Times three, I need three brains. Everyone has a role to play. The past is never dead. Face your corrupted soul. A knife in the hand with the heart? Oh, to get a heart, maybe? Hmm. Oops, wait. It me. Oh, thank you. That's going to be a puzzle. Faux show. Where the fuck did I get this eyeball from? Hmm. I assume they have to all be at that level. There we go. 
There we go. So whatever's in the last one. Oh, the brain. There we go. This is the old mind of Detective Vandermeer. Suffered severe damage from stress and anxiety. Therefore, it is now useless. Hmm. Okay. It's quite rude. <laughs> I don't think my brain's useless, but like, whatever. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, what was the time on this? Hypersonic, thank you for the 10 months. BT Dub, thank you for the 21. Gormina, thank you for the 11. And Perrin Crafts, thank you for the 16. Just checking in. I can't stay today. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. What are the pieces? <coughs> Past is never dead. Is this like telling us that the room is like a clock. All right, like this is 12 o'clock. No. No, never mind. Interesting. Oh, weird. <laughs> For some reason I thought, I don't know what I thought. Okay. The lake. Eighteen eighty nine. Misty Lake Pilsner. That's the symbol. Hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Thank you. 
It's definitely for this. Call every number. <laughs> Seven six seven one. to wake her up. Oh, um... I left her too long. No, no. She can take a two-hour nap now. So, if she'll sleep until cool. two, All then right. you're good. Just check. Yeah. Where? In front of the door. Oh, my God. Guys. <coughs> hey, buddy. You gonna spook me? No spoops? Hmm. How did you get that number? Uh, well, the book is by Jay Eilander. My name is Dale Vandermeer, so that's the next name I'm going to look at. Vanderboom. Oh, that was my oh, Vanderboom was is the one who wrote my thing, right? My like 36772. He was my psychologist, I guess. 36772. Okay, let's try that. 36772. Seven, seven, Detective Vandermeer. Hello? My name is Aldous Vanderboom. Vanderboom. What can you tell me? <coughs> Are you looking for a new present mind? I think so. I am confident the new mind is not far away. Where should I look? You have been looking before. What do you mean? Watch yourself. Channel 412. Okay. Four one two. Oh. Okay. Eight, 
seven nine. Two, seven, eight. Oops. God damn. Oops, wait. Oh, it was there. Oh. For the globe. Oh gosh, another one of these. Okay. Start. And then. Trees on both sides. Between. Toward a ravine. Through it. Um, Oh, stall on the ground. It's a small thing on the side. trees It's literally like a tower defense. <laughs> Thank you. 
So yeah, okay. Third one there, that one, that one, um, that one, and uh, that maybe. <laughs> Shit, that guy isn't getting hit by anything. Okay, we might have it now. Got it. Oh, I have to put it in. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, hey. Welcome to your present mind. Oh, my God. Thank you for having me as your counsel. Let's examine your current state. But first, I would like a cup of coffee. Those drawers that had nothing in them before would have something now. Um, okay. Right.
trying to remember if I've seen beans somewhere. Oh. Mr. Vandermeer, I will show you five images. Tell me what you see. One, I see a moth. Two, a crow. Three, murder. Four, fear. Five, I see my corrupt soul. Thank you, Mr. Vandermeer. Moth, crow, murder, fear, hungry man, right? Okay, I made this with brain and ear juice. You're welcome. Here you go, buddy. Sip, sip. Oh. Let's find the traumas of your past. Yes, let's. Oh, good.
that's probably murder. And one of those is fear. Probably that, but I don't know. It's either that or that. Okay, let's try it. Be right back, my dude. I have uh, things to do. Crow. Whoa! Great thing. Thank you for the 27. Silhouette for the 2. Deco for the 34. Drungan for the 15. Skizzle Fizzle. Thank you for the 26. Natasha for the 5. Um, King Cobra Slayer, thank you for the 23. The TXT, thank you for the 28. And Arnar, thank you for the gift bomb to Wayward David, Tusk Masher, Freakin' Fool, MD Soul Eater, and Jess too. All of you, welcome to the Cat Gang. Be sure to thank Arnar for those gifted subs. Thank you, guys. Too many legs on that spider. I don't know what you mean. Murder. Fear is one of these. Go with that, and then the hungry man. Ho ho! A light bulb. Doesn't go in there. Oh, does it go in here somewhere? Let's find the traumas of your past. Please, complete the test. Face your darkest memories. Ah. What the fuck? This coffee is too bitter. I made it with brains. How can it be too bitter when it's got those good, good brains in it? My personality test. Oh gosh, it's so late. <laughs> oh no. I guess baby's still asleep, so it's fine. But <laughs> definitely told Sam I was going to be done at one. <laughs> My bad. Okay, wait. Let's at least put in our brain of the past. Oh, in the phone book. What order are those in? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi. Hold on. Goodness gravy. Oh, it doesn't say. Hmm. It's not time for your present yet. Hello, son. Happy birthday. 
please prepare the decorations. I would love to. straightforward. Open it now. Please prepare the decorations. I did. It's not time for it's not present. time for Please your present. Prepare the decorations. I did. I put them in order. Oh. I'm assuming that these are, and this might be a wrong assumption. Oh, there's like a weird thing on that. Um, that they have to be only touching sides that have the same colors. So like, this side is blank because there aren't any that have nothing. But then this side has white and pink, so white and pink. Maybe it has to do with how many as well. Did the decoration. Please prepare the decoration. Fuck off. Mr. Alander, 
the magician. Oh, Jesus. I already did once. Eyeliner, five, seven, six, seven, one. Magic show. When will, you when will you arrive? I'm already here. Where? In front of the door. It's the same conversation we had before. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I called Mr. A. Lander. <laughs> Is he hiding somewhere? Is he hiding somewhere? It's not time for your present yet. Fuck off, is it not time for my present? How dare you? Oh no. Hi. Why was it dark? I found him, are we good? Look at yourself, son. Oh no. Somewhere in the world. He is somewhere in the world. Why do I have to find this bitch? We hired him. What a dick. Can I open my present yet? Turn on channel 369. <sighs> Y'all. Look behind you. Must I? Is he still hiding? Is he still hiding? I don't fucking know. Look behind me, I did. What a bitch. Time to open your present. My God. You shot my parents. What the fuck? Y'all good? No, you dead. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's supposed to be the picture, not the mirror. Oh, 
Okay. Birthday party massacre. Eleven-year-old boy, only survivor. What? <laughs> okay, three TV. Short is the door. Three TV, four picture. Three TV. Four picture. Okay. The mind of the future. Wait, but how do I get into that thing? still be there? Dear Dale, as in a game of chess, we all have our role to play in Rusty Lake. Use all of your minds to find our place on the board. Please seal and return this letter after reading from Mr. Owl. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. We'll finish this next stream. <laughs> we'll finish it next stream. It's fine. <laughs> God, I love these games. They're so good. Um, cool. Guys, thanks so much for watching today. Thanks for coming for Saturday Morning Duker. <laughs> I'm going to bring up our list of new subs so that I can thank you all proper property properly um thank you to anybody who gifted subs today thank you to anybody who uh took advantage of september and decided to stick with us for another month that's awesome um september i believe is going into october yeah i believe um i think hold on i think uh yeti is um having a, another sale that should apply to our store as well let me double check hold on come on phone yes use the code bongo yeti b-o-n-g-o-y-e-t-e-e -E -E for 15% off at checkout. All you have to do is uh, spend at least 20 bucks. So use that if you would like to get some Cat Gang merch. There's a discount code site-wide right now, so you can double up on stuff if you would like. Um, yeah, thank you all so much. I'm gonna read off the subs if you're taking off. Have a fantastic day. Uh, if it was your first time here and you'd like to follow and come back, we would love that. And you know, just generally have a great day. Um, thank you so much to Coop15, Showbank, Paper Stained Ink, Bry the Lion, Gravix07, Literature Geek, Liz Songbird, G Mads, Mr. Fribbles, My Conductor, Licked Lerm, um, Dinosaur, Carbon Kingdom, Rickerous Kitty, Short Stack, Chewy Leet, Granny Sith, Baker's Base, Jelly, Tyroglyphus, Narum Lena, Slim Shazbot, The, und the Undeletable? <laughs> God. I had a lot of trouble with that. Goblin Chew, G Jardim, Oyasumi Panda, Sinji, Dragosk, Croatian, 
Um, Wizard Styles, Yell Yak, Darius has dogs, Toadmobile, The Rouge, Rogue, Suki426, Mana Cactus, Willard Mittens, Uber Squash, Breebot, Blade Master, Sickler, Animus Color, Astonut, Ginger Ryan, Gaiabon, Still59, What Would Scooby Do, Mira090, Stealth Frenzy, Wait What Excuse Me, Jurassic John, Okali19, Java Corona, Chaos Shala, Esports Casual, Falcon, uh, 3439, Jay Barry, 438, Cone19, Maximilian, Backseat Boy, Edwind, Stwanist, um, Sarah Kitten, Alloy Gaiman, Lurker Jean, Stompa, Grey Blade, R&D Phantom, Yggdra 1990, Cinnamon Swirl, Silhouette 59, Natasha, Death Trap, Wayward David, Tusk Masher, Freakin' Fool, MD Soul Eater, and Jestu. Thank you guys so much. I super appreciate it. Also to Flying Piano, happy one year. Thank you very much. And Zelatan, thank you for the 28 months. I will, um, oh my gosh, wait, whose wings are those? Katie, KTR wings, amazing. Uh, enjoy your new emotes. Have a fantastic day. I will see you guys again on Monday at the latest. And uh, be excellent to each other and party on, dude.